Bonique with Oak Knob Makes and I'm here today to give you guys a tour of my craft space. I enjoy seeing tours of other people's craft spaces on YouTube. I think that it helps to give me ideas for how I can make my space more usable, more functional, and cuter sometimes if we're gonna be honest. I mean, you know. You'll have to excuse me, I'm sick at the moment so my voice is a little less than ideal and we also um we just completed our New Hampshire meetup for our Oak Knob Farm channel with the Self-Reliant Roadshow and uh, Prepstetter Bob and Mrs. B. They had it out this morning and so it feels very quiet here at the house. I figured today was a great day to do this before I head back to work tomorrow. Okay everybody, we've got the camera turned around now and we are walking into my craft space. Um, Dave doesn't spend a whole lot of time up here I'll try to go slow and we'll go through the whole thing as we go um, this area here is my bulletin board so this is just full of things that are fun and things that people have made me um, things that mean things to me this whole room is full of things that mean something to me this is uh, one of those things where you get together basically you go out with your girlfriends you all drink wine and you paint the same painting at the place where there's 50 people this right here and this right here are prints by an artist that I'm particularly fond of. This is my my beautiful daughter. Uh, one of my dearest friends that I've known since we were in high school. That was her at Halloween one year. Uh, this is a photo from a trip that Dave and I took, one of our favorite trips up to Maine. This one in the back is a photo from, again, that same trip in Maine. What a beautiful day that was. And then behind all of this is, um, these are my family members. These are my absolutely gorgeous great-grandparents, Antoinette and Adrian. In the very center, that is my grandmother. And the lady to the right in the wedding dress is her sister. This is a big part of the reason that I do genealogy because um, when I was born, I was a fifth generation baby, which means that five generations of people from my family were alive when I was born. I'm not sure how well this video will pick them up. Um, it was a treatment that I did that is supposed to end up looking ultimately like watercolor. And I love it. This is my main work desk, and that is my main sewing machine. It's just a singer. And this machine has done well by me. Uh, it is a Quantum Stylus 9960. It has some redonkulous amount of stitches, and uh, I don't use most of them. So there you go. The best thing about this machine is the automatic thread cutter. These are also pictures that are important to me. This is my father. He looked so much like Howdy Doody. Such a cutie. And this is a friend of mine. This is my daughter and me <clears throat> at a concert on my daughter's 21st birthday. We went to see Hosier. And then, of course, this is Dave and I. Dave being my husband. <laughs> this closet is where I keep all my fabric. My fabric is absolutely horrifying at the moment. And I'm being real with you. This is it, folks. This is how it looks right now. I did not organize this. I didn't do a darn thing. My fiber fills and my quilt battings over here, my minky, all that. I have hanging up different types of panels, strips of fabric that do better hung than apparel fabric, upholstery fabric, you know, all that. Anyways, that is my fabric. It is a mess right now, but that is how I store it uh, in this rolling cart right here is where I keep all of my uh, fabric scraps and I have them uh, split up by color so that it's fairly easy to find what it is I'm looking for. So if you're a sewer or a quilter that is my solution for one of the great questions of what do I do with all this scrap fabric. Uh, this right here is full of just random supplies. I have all my zippers uh, you know, in one drawer. Oh, up here they fell down. I love Labyrinth. I don't know if you guys remember that movie with David Bowie. It's a favorite of mine and my daughter got me all of these. They make me smile. Uh, up above that is 
a piece of my daughter's artwork. I don't think Dave and I have ever talked about the fact that our daughter she went to college to be an illustrator and uh, she has a bachelor's degree in that. This is one of the self portraits that she had to make. And of course, girl boss, because I am a girl boss. Over here, we have the TV. Those of you that watched the videos that I have on Oak Knob Farm know that a lot of them centered around my houseplants and succulents, and these are the baby succulents. This is where they are now, and a lot of them are getting ready to need to be replanted. In that blue bin is uh, all of my crayons and pencils and all of that. I use the crayons to, well, I use them for embroidery, actually. You can color the pattern inside of the pattern like say you're going to embroider a pumpkin you can color the fabric with an orange crayon and then melt it and it will it stains the fabric so it's actually interesting if you've never seen anybody do that let me know i'd be happy to to do a uh, little video on it and here are my supplies for watercolor if i decide i want to do some watercolor i have scrapbooking paper over here i have newsprint for paper piecing for quilting i have some books watercolor papers down at the bottom are cookie cutters and then in the back over here i have my puzzle piece mats that go together so that i can block out my crochet pieces on the floor in here this is some yarn that i haven't gotten put away yet i've <laughs> got a great deal on some clearance yarn down here is a actually going to be a donated quilt i cut the quilt out and i hate it I hate working on it, I hate the fabric, and I've been holding on to it for years and I've had enough. I'm going to let go of it and give it to charity. Somebody else can love it. Uh, underneath my cutting table are all bins of yarn. And then back there in the corner is my backup brother sewing machine. Uh, up here is my cutting table with my quilting rulers and um, they sit in a board that has grooves cut in it so that it keeps them sturdy. Uh, these are all some quilt kits that I had purchased from Blueprint, aka Craftsy, when it was Craftsy, uh, on clearance. And I just haven't done them yet. I have the Gravity Quilt and I have the yeah 2016 Summer Block of the Month. So, you know, I'm, I'm really up on, on these. But this is my cutting table. This is where I cut my fabrics. And I picked this up off the side of the road for free. Both sides, uh, you can put both sides down if you want. I leave it open because it's where I do my cutting and I need the whole space. And over here is once again, my most adorable little kidlet ever. Look at these freaking shares, everybody. My father, who's an upholsterer, gave me these suckers. These things are massive, heavy duty pinking shears. I love them. But anyways, this whole rod and the hooks and the things, the little cups that hang on them, that all came from Ikea. It was really affordable, not very expensive as, at all, as well as this magnetic strip with the um, containers. That also was from Ikea. Up here, I have resin pieces that I've cast but haven't done anything with. Over here, <laughs> these are embroidery flosses. Oops. What I do here is these are all broken up by the numbers. So like this, this, these are the three hundreds. And so those are on a ring and they'll be three to three to 310, 310 to 320, 320 to 350, all of that anyways, on different rings. And then the each hundred goes on a bigger ring, which is on the main ring. So that's all of my embroidery floss. It is absurd. This is a cart that I actually just recently got. I think it's working out great. On top over here is my serger, which I have not yet learned to use. This is my resin casting supplies on the left and the drawers. The bucket on the right is my macrame supplies. Uh, that pink thing is the foot pedal and all of that that goes with the serger. And then down in these drawers, we have resin inclusions and all the supplies, dried flowers like that this is more a little kind of scrapbooking um, you know crystals and stuff and, uh, adhesives sandpaper in here is uh, liquid acrylics these are alcohol inks my molds for resin and then down here is stuff for stamping 
down here in these th various assorted quilt blocks that I've made and have sandwiched into quilt sandwiches so that I can practice my free motion quilting. Top two are completed quilt tops that I haven't yet quilted. And then one of those is a quilt top that's in process. Over here we have my propagation station. You can see they're growing out of the leaves there. Over here is my Kenmore, my 1960s Kenmore straight stitch machine. I got this at a, at a thrift shop for like 10 bucks in the table. Thing is great, runs great. I think I changed a belt on it. That's about it. So four bucks maybe. Uh, and the greatest thing about it is it has a really strong motor and you can drop the feed dog so you can use it for free motion quilting. Which is nice because this throat length here is bigger than my son uh, than my singer so it's easier to get the quilt through anybody that quilts knows what i'm talking about there my thread yes you can always uh this little cart is also from ikea i'm sure plenty of people recognize it it's a pretty uh, standard cart that people seem to get from there it holds my distilled water for my iron my starches um, my pressing cloths all that kind of stuff this is my ironing board station back there are some art boards my embroidery frame and then this is a rolling wardrobe you know you can move it around and such if you don't have a closet and it's nice because the ends telescope out and all that and this is wonderful for macrame I can hang I'm backing up so that you can see it I can hang my macrame piece from the top and then work down. Over here, just shelves with things that are important. You know, I have quilting patterns, embroidery patterns. I've got burlap and lace. That jar right here in the middle, these were my uh, bridal bouquet. And I have put them in a jar. Um, my daughter got me that Bob Ross. Just random things that are important or that I like a lot. These in the center, these are all letters that came with sewing swaps that I did with people all over the world, and I've kept those. This basket is something that someone made me in a swap, which is great. Oh, there's Dave before he took his earrings out. Oh, look, this little guy matters to me too. It's Lloyd. Hi, Lloyd. Oh, he's a pretty boy. He is a... Yes, you are. What's he doing? What? Lloyd's gonna hang out with me in here for a while I guess of course we'll give him some privacy so I'm standing in the center of my room I'm gonna do a panorama so you can see what it is I see and, uh, and then we'll just move on so that's the most important message to myself in this room you don't have to be perfect to be amazing and it's gonna get bright for a minute because of the window um, which looks out into my driveway and I come around to my cutting table, the windows that look out the front. Oh, and of course I have some, you know, f YouTube filming stuff over there as well. Um, my ring light and tripod and all that. Um, and so this is my, this is my space. This is a shawl that I crocheted. I believe this is the Anna Lucia shawl by Wilma Westerberg, I think her name is. This is something that anybody's interested in. You know, let me know down in the comments and I'll I'll find the exact name of the shawl and, and who created it. I love these safety pins. Those are heavy duty metal. Um, it's those two. And then there's one over next to my cutting table over there. Also big heavy duty cast iron safety pins. And I just loved them. When I saw them, I, th I thought they were perfect and I wanted to get them. And yes, uh, that is a chandelier. I do have a chandelier in my craft room because I felt like it. Well, everybody, <laughs> that's it. That's my craft space. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. And I hope that maybe you got some ideas on how to make your space functional and how to store some of your crafts. It can be a challenge and I think we're all in this together. Let me know um, if you have any questions about my space or um, if you have any suggestions or things that you'd like to share for how you manage your space uh, in the comments below. I will definitely check them out. All right, guys, I'll see you here another day where we can be creative together.